Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome thanks for tuning in today. My name is Jen and today's video is going to be a little bit different. So as a bracelet maker one of my biggest pet peeves is having to take my skeins of floss and wrap them around the bobbins to keep them all organized. I'm not great at staying organized. It's not a secret. We all know this. Sometimes when I'm in a rush and I just want to make a bracelet I just grab a skein, grab the colors I need and just throw the rest back in a box because I'm like I just can't be bothered to wrap it all up right now. It's very time consuming, very boring, and when you just want to create you don't want to really sit and organize. But the other day I was walking around the craft store and I came across this. So this is actually a DMC name brand bobbin winder. I think I got this for less than three dollars. So I saw it and I knew I had to try it out because if this can save me some time winding some bobbins then I'm gonna be using this a lot. And it just so happens that I have a ton of skeins that need to be wrapped up. And it says uh, to specifically use it with DMC plastic or cardboard bobbins, which I have a ton of, so that's, that's perfect. So today I'm going to sit down, give this a try, see if it really works, see if it's worth the $3. <laughs> also the staple in it is blue, so that's pretty fun. <laughs> So it says it's easy, um, ideal for winding floss, ribbon, threads, or yarns. Okay. And on the back, it actually has a picture of this contraption attached to one of these things. So I'm going to see if this works the way it's supposed to. We're just gonna put it to the test today. And the back really seems to be the only instructions that come with it. And there's really no instructions. It really just looks like you stick it on and go, so. All right, so here's the winder. It's plastic and yellow. So it looks like this kind of holds the bobbin. I don't know where that went. I'm gonna have to find that. Oh no. Hello? Oh, I found it. All right, I got it. All right, so <laughs> that goes in that little hole there and then this just comes right out. Okay, so that's, that's all that it comes with. I'm going to adjust the camera and then see if we can get the setup. All right, so I have my bobbin winder. I have some skeins of floss that I'm gonna try and wind up. And I have my floss organizer because apparently this is supposed to attach to the side. So we'll see how that works for us. So they make this seem very easy. Like there's really no instructions. This is literally all we get. It's kind of just this diagram. I'm like, okay, I can do that. Let's see how this works. All right, so let's start by opening this up very unorganized over here see this is why i need this all right then i guess this just goes like right on the side oh, okay just like that all right all right okay i'm having fun this is fun so now let's start with red because i have to make a rainbow bracelet today so if i can just wrap this all up that would be great let's just open this up all right so i've opened up my it's ready to go. So I'm just gonna grab some slack here and just kind of wrap it around the end, I guess, like that. Uh, and and turn. Oh, it's a little. Oh, I'm turning the wrong way. First of all. Okay. Oh, this this is difficult. Okay, it's definitely going now. It's not as like spinny as you'd hope it would be. I don't know if this is easier or harder. It's definitely taking a lot longer than if I had just done this myself. But I'm also like doing this with my left hand. So maybe, maybe I should try and do it with my right hand. Maybe I could go a lot faster. I mean, it is kind of nice that I can hold the skein in this hand and then just kind of wind with the other, but it's not quite sturdy enough that I can just like go crazy <laughs> on the handle here. Maybe if I try and flip it around so I'm using my right hand, it'll work a little better. Let's see if that works. And then maybe if I get a little bit of slack going, then I can just hold this and kind of go. Okay. Now we're getting some speed. Oh. See, but you kind of have to hold it tight at the same time. Like I def, oh my gosh. I definitely have to hold it with one hand in order to get it tight around the bobbin. Oh, I don't know if I like this. See, like my, my container is moving all over the place and it is 
I mean, floss isn't very heavy, but it, it is full. I'm like not even halfway through the skein. This is taking forever. What if I just held it? Like, what if I took it off of there? I held it just like this. Oh, that's not any better. It's not any better. Ow, this hurts my hand. Who thought that this would be a good idea? Like I, okay. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more slack going here. And I'm gonna stick it back on here. It definitely seems to work better when it's on here. I'm just gonna <laughs> see like now it's just getting all loosey goosey on me. This is not good. Oh my god i'm pretty sure i already know what my final thoughts are going to be on this all right i've unraveled the rest of the skein so i'm gonna see if i can just kind of go oh it doesn't stay on there very well maybe i need to put it on like a thicker box or something i definitely need to hold the slack taut in order for this to have any chance of doing anything It doesn't look very pretty wrapped around here either. I just want to add, oh, and it fell off again. All right, you know what? I'm just going to cheat for the end here. Wow, look at that. All right, <laughs> going to move this out of the way. So now we have our finally wrapped skein that took forever. So then I guess I just pop out this little stub and then pull that out. There we go, finally, a wrap skein. That took a lot of effort. Like. My arms hurt from doing that. This doesn't spin as well as you think it would. Like it spins well like that, but I can't just go crazy like that with the with the embroidery floss. All right, I wanna do a little test. I have two more skeins I wanna try out. So with the green, I'm gonna try wrapping this again, but this time I'm going to time it. I'm gonna see how long it takes. And then I'm going to time how long it takes me to wrap the orange floss but just how I would normally do it without using this. I just wanna see which one is truly faster, but I think I already know the answer. All right, and this time I think I'm going to put the handle on the right side just so I have a little bit more room over here. We'll see what that does for us. So I just grabbed another DMC plastic bobbin. Just gonna put it in there, put the little nubby thing back in so it doesn't fly out. And I'm going to be starting the stopwatch with both skeins kind of in this state here to see how long it takes me. All right, starting the timer now. Get some slack going here, wrap it around the bobbin. All right, which way do I have to turn this? This way, okay. All right. Okay, it actually does seem to be going a lot better on this side, I'm not going to lie but it is still very wobbly, a little wonky. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, get in there. Oh, my skein is getting a little tangled. All right, I definitely think I was using it on the wrong side. It definitely seems to be going a lot better with the handle on the outside. It's very flimsy though. It falls over a lot. Get some more slack here. I feel like I was going so fast at the beginning. Oh, here we go. It's like you almost just have to find that sweet spot. Look how fast I'm going now. It's definitely going so much faster than last time. All right. Well, that was much more successful than the first time. So I'm gonna stop that. So that's two minutes and 11 seconds. Wow, it's a lot longer than I thought it was. All right, so now our green is all wrapped. Two minutes and 11 seconds. Let's see if me wrapping the bobbin manually the way I normally would is any faster than that. And same as last time, I'm gonna be starting with the embroidery floss in its kind of circular shape here. And I'm gonna start the timer in three, two, one, go. All right, so normally I would just grab the end and then just take everything out. I would just undo the whole thing without trying to get it tangled. I'm not gonna lie, I am trying to go a little fast because I want to beat the time of the of the other winder thing, but I think I may have just tangled this really bad. Oh no! Okay, well that's not even fair. I totally just tangled this. Oh no! All right, we can do this, we can do this. It's fine. I think we untangled it, I think we did it. All right, it's untangled, all right. So now, I just go crazy like this.
All right, doing well so far. Oh no, what is this? Ah, so this is what happens when you unwrap the whole thing. Oh, oh, okay. Ah, all right, and stop. All right, so that took me a minute and 43 seconds and that's including me untangling uh, those little snags as well. So a minute and 43 seconds. It was definitely faster for me just to wrap it myself, but now I know. So does this work? Yes. Is it worth it? I'm gonna have to go with no. As fun as it is to just spin around, it was honestly just much easier and faster to wind it manually the way I always do. I definitely wouldn't go out on a limb to go order it or anything if you haven't seen it. Maybe one of those things you just wanna give a try, but if you don't have it, you're you're probably not missing out on anything. As we saw, it was way faster for me just to sit down and do it myself, even if it did get a little bit more tangled that way. And honestly, having this fall over every two seconds would just drive me insane. So probably not going to be using this again, but I mean, for $3, it was worth a shot. But that's about it for today's video. It was a little bit different than what I normally do, but I thought you all might enjoy it. It was pretty fun to make. And let me know if there are any other weird bracelet tools or contraptions or devices that you would like me to try out. I will be the friendship bracelet guinea pig. Okay, I really can't stop spinning this now. I might just keep this at my desk as like a fidget spinner kind of situation. Remember when those were a thing? Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button. I'll also link some other videos in the description that you might enjoy. I hope you have your favorite snack today. I hope you drink lots of water and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.